Jan Charles cooking apple dumplings. Uh, I am Jan Charles, and you're seeing some of my kiddos. This one's Ricky, and uh, this one's Boone. Uh, I am a mom, and I'm a cook, and I've uh, started cooking professionally, well, semi-professionally, about, uh, what, three years ago? Started doing YouTube, and uh, ended up with a, a local show here in Tennessee, and I spent the summer with Food Network. So, uh, now we're going to Barbecue Superstars, and what we're going to do today is we're going to start to finish. We're going to cook for you all the way I cook for these guys all the time. Let me show you how I do it, because uh, I don't do uh, fussy food. My friend Adam would be laughing over that. We don't do fussy food, but uh, we keep it pretty real. So, you ready to go? You going to be my sous chef today? Yep. Okay. Boom wants to cook. Actually, all of my kids like Small baking dish down in there. We're going to make apple dumplings. cheating today. This is my big cheat. Normally, I make my own, uh, what do you call that stuff? Pie crust. Can you take that to the garbage? Thank you. Normally, I make my own pie crust. However, I end up in this debate with myself over, <laughs> simply say, excuse me, <laughs> I, I end up with this debate with myself over what's less expensive, which has fewer additives, and I feel like, uh, because butter has gotten so expensive, on occasion, I'll buy a refrigerated pie crust. You know, that's my cheat. Because you get the pie crust for less than the butter, you know. Um, stick that over there for now, buddy. All right, can you put that in the garbage? Is that butter salted or unsalted? I'm a salty girl. I use salted butter, you know. People say, oh, we have to control the salt. Well, yes, I do agree. Seasoning and the correct use of uh, salt and pepper can you tell we did blueberries with <laughs> <laughs> uh, Correct use of salt and pepper is huge. Now, I'm going to put you over here, and you're in charge of the syrup, okay? Oh, hello. That's Bladen. And Bladen has been uh, working our soundboard for us. All right. So. And he loves pie. And, oh, man, this kid. You can't say pie crust in any application without this one getting see right in the middle of it. You're waiting, aren't you? All right. Okay. Well, let me show you what we're going to do. We're cutting ours in half. Now, a lot of times you can use the whole apple and wrap it up. I'm kind of taking a lazy way. It's, it's just easier to get the core out. Yeah, you want to get the peel off. Hey, you know what you can do if you're making apple dumplings and you want to? You can add, let's see, get rid of that bruise. You can add um, raisins and cinnamon and uh, all kinds of stuff to uh, the inside. Oh, thank you. Um, can you put about a teaspoon of cinnamon into the syrup that Boone's working on? So we just put the butter and stuff on the stove and we're gonna just let it melt together. Um, I'm not gonna worry. There's no teaspoons in there. You know what? Just grab one out. It doesn't have to be an exact. We're so old. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be exact. So you put, uh, let me see which one you got. Use about half of that. Put it in the syrup that Boone's making. Okay. What's that syrup for? Ah, I will show you. Just butter. I let the big kid escape. He's the one I should have in here uh, peeling and coring apples. Right, Ricky? Yeah. So I'm going to actually have you over here in just a minute doing it. So like I said, normally I make my own pie crust. But in this case, I'm not doing it. 
<laughs> and I feel like, uh, you know, if you, you have an issue with that, then you can't have any. <laughs> oh, and now the cat's in here. Yeah? How's it coming, Boone? Smells really good and... <laughs> okay. There's the cat. Um, do you and think you can peel and core apples? Yeah, sure. Okay, did you see, have you washed your hands? Yeah. Okay. And did you see how I did it? Yeah, you just you go in a circle, cut off the core. I'm actually cutting each apple into four pieces. Oh, it's working. Okay. It's like cinnamon cloves. Well, you know, pork and apples. It's kind of bubbly at the bottom here. That's a good thing you want that to happen. Pork and apples are um, a classic combination. Of course, we're not putting the apples with the pork this time. Okay. Not actually, that's It would be pretty good. All right, look here. So take your apple. Now, now it's in four pieces, right? Now, super careful doing it this way. Slowly. Take out the core, okay? Mm -hmm. And then slowly yeah, peel. It. peel. Yeah. And if you can do that, I am going to get the pie crust ready, okay? All right, so put those and I don't know if this is going to give me enough room to work, but we're going to see. Get my stool out of the way. Stop, that's not how I showed you to do it. Stop, 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 stop. We're gonna go with control here. Okay. Hold the apple in the palm of your hand and slowly bring it towards you. Very slowly, okay? okay. That gives you control. All right, let me get my roll of pen. No, you have flour. Yeah, flour. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'm surprised I was able to find this. This usually gets taken out of my kitchen and uh, Used as an implement of war. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why I never have a meat mallet. <laughs> uh, will you. This one will take to anything that resembles a hammer or a tool or what have you. You know, he's going to. All right. All right. You know what? We have plenty of apples, so he can go. Oh, did you wash it off? I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> We can do that. How's your, how's your syrup going? Amazing. Let's turn it way down because you, you've got enough heat now. About three? Uh, I would put it even on two. Okay. Okay, so now we've got this lumpy piece of dough, but that's okay. I love dough. I like oh, my, I hate you. I like my dumplings and pie all doughy. Like so let's see. Let's, you know that? Let's go this way. I don't like it crispy. You don't? My yeah. arm is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> is it hard work, buddy? Yeah. Okay, so we're just using the pastry to make a little package. So then what do I do? So that's an apple piece. Huh? Do, I do, do I just chop it? Nope, 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 nope. That's perfect. Leave it alone. Yeah. You know what? That's that's exactly what we want. Pop. Pop. I'm going to throw these peels away. You can Maybe. do that. Okay, so we're going to line these up in here. Well, we've kind of got to work fast because... We have more apples here. There's plenty of apples. You keep going. Okay. We gotta work fast because our apples are gonna turn brown. Which really, that's not the worst thing that could ever happen to you. <laughs> it just doesn't look very nice. You know, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I don't work with apples more on television because uh, they'll turn brown. And at home, it's not that big a deal. You know. It's a brown. You, well, normally. You're not doing prep work out ahead of time at, at, at home. And if you wanted to, you could throw a little bit of, um, what's that stuff? The yellow fruit, citrus, lemons. <laughs> you could throw a little lemon juice on it. I like how I know what it is. Oh, hush. <laughs> Sorry. No back sass. How's that? Anybody that back sasses doesn't get to eat. Okay. Drat? Did you say drat? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How's it coming over there, Ben? Looks like looks really. It looks like hot chocolate. Is it smooth? Yeah. Wait. 
All right, let me come over there and check like what you're doing. It's a little thick. It's supposed to be. Okay. Now, do you think we have enough? Let me see. I think so. That'll, yeah, that's a good bit of Maybe a little bit more. Can you, can you put some pancakes? I'm just curious. <laughs> can you put it on pancakes? Yeah. Yes. Ooh. You know, my grandmother. <laughs> he said woo. Woo. My grandmother used to make syrup for pancakes with brown sugar and butter and flour so it would get nice and thick. Um, a little bit of water. You make it. And, uh, well, I have made that for y'all. What I usually do, y'all, uh, you are not doing that the way I told you to do, and you're going to get fired. No, you're not, because I need you. You're going <laughs> to, you do it the way I told you, baby. There's a reason I tell y'all to do these things. I really actually have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you can do that apple. There's one. I counted it. Of course, we're talking my math, so there's no telling. All right, let's come over here and check, Benny. Oh, nice job. All right, so what we're going to do is bring you up a little bit, okay? You just keep stirring. Keep spoon entertained. Here's another. Awesome. I'm done. I'm going quick, but... You what? I'm quick. You are quick. So we're going to get this going. I've got the oven on 350. I said I'm going quick. You don't have to go quick. No, no, no. I'd rather you work slow. I know. I'm working on the knife like I'm messing with it. Okay. You're not doing it the way I showed you. I know. I'm putting it in my palm. And I'm coming. Remember, I showed you to... Just look, let me show you one more time. Let me show you one more time. Oh, See okay. how I'm holding everything still? And then you're not having to saw. Okay. And that way you won't slip. And I'll put off my finger. That's right. And I don't want my fingers. Because you realize we're live. And so, if you make a liar out of me while we're live, you're gonna kill me. Yeah, because I just made this big thing about how if you teach your kids to work with knives, they're safe. <laughs> and I really don't want to. Oh, it's starting to bubble. Good. How much bubbling? About enough in pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of pancake reference here. I think I got a kid that likes some pancakes. I make pretty darn good pancakes. Boone does make pretty good pancakes. He makes good breakfast stuff, I'll tell you about it. Yeah. With this? Yeah, that's the other benefit of teaching your kids to cook. Is, you know, I'm all about child labor. And then, uh... Hey, that worked a lot better. See? On occasion, I'm right about something. On occasion? On occasion, I'm right. You know, there is an apple dumpling recipe where... You use soft drinks <laughs> and pour the soft drinks over the top. Oops. You can use uh, Mountain Dew. I hate Mountain Dew. Well, but I tell you, if you make dumplings. So, I, I mean, it, on dumplings, maybe. I, I just hate Mountain Dew. It tastes so just. I just kick it. Oh, I just like it's in oil. Does it? You know why? Why? Thank you. What, what's butter made of? Or what is butter? Right, but it's also the fat from the milk. Okay, so when you melt it, like you've done in that case, you've separated the solid part of butter, the milk solids, is what they call it. Is this the one you dropped on the floor? Yeah, I washed it off. Oh, well, we're good to go then. Um, have you seen our floors? <laughs> They're the most hardest thing to clean. Oh, we do. The house is so old. And that means the, the cracks in the floor. Our floor, our floor has started Check. to get cracks. No, that's right. Mm -hmm. And you're it, good. It's getting harder to clean because when you try to sweep it, the broom can't pick it up. <laughs> and it's are you just giving the story on how hard the floors are to yeah. clean? <laughs> that's true. All right, we're almost ready. Have I a little sludgy? We ended up with too many apples. Or I lost count somewhere. I think I used too much pastry on this one. I'm good, but that one will be mine. You want that one? Wait, wait till like three extra for doughy. Don't, don't do that. Like this? Yeah, don't do, don't do that. Okay, let's get rid of the one that went on the floor. There's already one in there. So we'll just let that be a, a jackpot. Well, okay, okay. Whoever gets it. Okay, so, Blayden, she help me with some cleanup, son. Um, Hey, let me get this apple. Huh? Let me get this last apple. 
Oh, no, no, we've got, no, 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 we're done. We don't need it. Okay. So you can eat that one. Combine it, but can see Joey would like it. Yes. Here, can you wash this off? Drip, drip, drip. All right, we're done. Wash that off real quick, so. Okay, actually, put oh. this over there, because what is a good chef? A good chef is what? A clean chef. That's right. I can wash it off. So we need to uh, keep our workspace clean as we go. Look, I didn't end up with flour everywhere. Is, am I wearing it? I usually don't wear it. It's gooey. <laughs> it's supposed to be gooey, bud. It's supposed to be. All right. It doesn't smell good? No, now it, is, now it doesn't smell as good. It just smells kind of like, it smells like pork. Ah, I think you're nuts. No. See, look what she's going to Oh, wow. We have uh, the sugar syrup. So this goes. I'm going to put a little applause on it. You're going to put an applause on it? I'm going to go. <laughs> so right over the top. No one's, no one's and I'll help with the applause. Okay, you can help with the applause. I tell you, I need one of those machines. All right, hot. No, don't put it in this. Okay. Okay, here. If you, but if you want it, go over there and sit down with it. Grab yourself a teaspoon. Hey, can I have some? Yeah, go get a teaspoon. All right. Jan Charles has appeared on Food Network and many other television shows. Are we done? Yes, yeah, we're done. Don't touch them. Where, there's the Don't touch them. Leave them alone. No, no they, they should have been in there just for that last 10 seconds, though. 10 seconds? No, I'm reset the timer. Well, you want to make sure that your dough yes. has really cooked. And you want to know a secret? Mm -hmm. I think they need another few minutes. <laughs> They're almost there. That's hot. If you touch your arm of that. Mm. What's up, what? That's gotten too dark, so look what we're going to do. Scoop it out. Yep. Kind of looks like all of that. They're good, aren't they? I'll just take yeah. it. Yeah. Honey, that's hot boiling sugar. It will burn you badly. Sugar burns are about the bad, about the baddest, about the worst thing you can do to yourself in the kitchen. So when you are working with sugar, be careful. Yeah. If you notice, all I had was all I had them doing was melting the butter and keeping it really low. Still would have been a nasty burn, you know. But it does, it does taste really bad. What's well, burn sugar? You want burn sugar? All right. So we're gonna put those back in here. Just another few minutes. It probably boil itself in the. Ha 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 ha. Now they're done. Now they're done. Much better. Look at the nice caramel. So what do we use for the dumplings? Okay, so we're going to come right over here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I don't know why I'm whispering. Give me an extra You just like pie dough. Yes, I like it. If you cook it, make it flavorful. You know what I could have done? I could have. I could have made whipped cream. Oh, no. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or we could have brought out some uh, ice cream. That's enough. No, you need a dummy one. How about this one? No, the extra big one. Well, this one shows how flaky it is. Okay. Flaky. Flaky. See, and look at how, oh, look. Look at how it caramelized on the bottom. No, I saw, I was, try, I was representing that weird person from the Toaster Strudels commercial. Flaky? <laughs> you know, with children, they all get soporific and they, they take a nap. Okay. So that is. That, that's me. That's that. That's all we got. That's that's how we do it at my house. We do uh, almost everything is homemade. Almost everything is from scratch, but we don't go crazy about it. We use very simple and expensive ingredients, but we treat each, treat each one of them with as much respect as possible, so that you get the most absolutely amazing, deep, rich flavors out of everything. And then you make your kids do the dishes, and you're good to go. And later, <laughs> that's right.
right. They gotta pay me back for something. <laughs> Thank you for coming by the Jay and Charles show. And we hope you have a good day. And next time you come by, she'll be cooking something else. Jay and Charles and their kids have a lot of fun. And thanks for coming by.